can't judge Girls need love too Yeah, girls need love too Girls need love Let me tell you something Girls need love too yeah. All right, you guys, I have my hair sectioned off in four quads. As you guys can see, I have 30 devolve, I'm sorry, 40 volume developer and some lightning powder. And I just put all that, I started from the back as you normally would on any client's head. And now I'm just making sure I'm saturating all parts. I wish I, wished I would have used foil to speed up the process just by adding a little heat but um you know trying out trial and error why can i not talk anywho um yeah so i'm sort of kind of using like a balayage technique but i'm just some parts i'm gonna go a little higher just because i know it's, i'm gonna cut it and it's gonna be a bob so i'm just doing the balayage technique because it it looks really really cute and and kind of sort of I wanted to see how it was long before I cut it so yeah I was just experimenting on that so now I am just working my way up and I'm going to shut up because I feel like I'm talking extremely too much but yeah you guys get the point I hope you guys can see the detail oh also when you guys are coming up on the hair you might want to go over it with your pinky just to smooth over the lines or dust it dust it with a clean like makeup brush or something to blend those harsh lines because you want it to blend very softly make sure you squish in your fingers in between your hair to get that lifting powder and bleach all in there just mix all that in there really really good because you really 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 want to saturate it very well <laughs> I'm just gonna roast myself real quick for wearing what I have on because I feel like I look like Pinocchio <laughs> or something I look weird anyway And right here, I'm just putting a little of that on my closure just so that it lifts. And by the way, you guys, I use clear. I didn't use a cream. I just wanted to try it out for the first time to see what it does. And it actually gets pretty uh, thorough into the hair. I don't know if I would have gotten different results from a cream. I don't know. Maybe next time I'll try that. But yeah, I think it did pretty well for the same thing. Now I'm just lifting it now with a 50 volume developer. And that has cream, um, like a conditioner mixed in with it so it's not as drying on the hair. And I really, really like it. Um, I used a different lightener for this one. It had already had the purple uh, toner in it. So I really like that. Um, and so it lifted up to this color. Now I'll be using these two shades. I'm using that full bottle and half of that bottle and then I was gonna use another setting, just enough for my head just to mix those two. It's the emerald and the lime green. I will put all the products down below that I use. And now I'm going to coat all the hair and I'm gonna mix it all through. And yeah, saturate it really well. Make sure it's a great blend. And be very careful with this particular product because it was very, very runny. And yeah, it, it, it definitely could ruin your floor. So be careful. I still wanted to keep my roots dark. So I just melted the colors into the colors. I mean, it went from brown to like a dark greenish, yellowish. And then it came to like green on the end. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this a video a thumbs up. 
and why you guys are if you guys aren't subscribed why don't you guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this also comment below what color wig should I do next or what colors are popping or if you guys would like to do multiple blends like I'm so down for the challenge let's do it just let me know down below in the comments so this is the finished product of all the saturation going on and I left that on for about a good 45 minutes so I let that sit and I rinsed it out and this is what the color came to so pretty wet still has this curl pattern so it's not it's like a wave not right now I'm just blowing it out it is gorgeous you guys like it's not super out there super loud it's doable it's it's so pretty so pretty I'm just taking it section by section because I wanted to make sure I got everything dry. Stretching that hair as much as possible just for the cut. And I'm just gonna run the flat iron through it, not really flat iron it. Can you guys see? Oh my God. Like the sun. It has so many colors of green in it and it turned out beautiful. So I am going to be going into business pretty soon with my wig unit line, customized units. And also um, if you guys want to follow more about that, you guys should follow me on my Instagram and that is Capriel underscore Anissa or you can find me mostly on Snapchat. You guys never know what I'm up to. so. It is very important to follow me there. I'll put all that information down below. And my snap is going to be beautycap27 if I haven't said that already. And also another Instagram name is Happy Cappy Wigs. So right now I just part off the front from the ears. And then I just cut the back, the rest of the back upward and up like in my hand. And now I'm just going down just to give it some layers. I'm just razoring things off right now because I don't want to lose all that. I'm trying to make sure it's stacked. I'm going to go through it. Lay it down and make sure it's cut the way it falls. And I did go over my thinning shears with it. I didn't do it in the video, but all you want to do is go on the outer skirts and make sure those are tucked away. And then you want to shear the inside of your hair. You don't want to make all sorts of demarcation in your hair. Um, you can if you want to. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Um, so yeah, I whenever I cut hair, you guys, I'd be in the zone. like. Please give me my time. I'm not gonna mess you up, I promise. But I love cutting this hair. It just turned out so beautifully. I'm just layering it, just going through little sections and just like going downward, cutting in a downward motion. And then I'm using the razor as well still, just to give it some texture. And like I said, I did go over it with shears. And basically, this is the end of my video. I just curled it at the end, just gave it a slight bump, and did a little few pieces of curls in the front. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Can't die. Girls need love too. Yeah. Girls need love too. Girls need love. Let me tell you something.
something Loves me, love yeah. me. 